There are few things more exciting to a true Porsche enthusiast than the letters RS. We're here at the LA Auto Show and Porsche's had a ton of new unveils this week, including the Taycan GTS, which we spent some time with yesterday. But this is the car that is going to appeal most to enthusiasts. This is the new 718 Cayman GT4 RS. Let's take our first look. Before I tell you all the racy details on the new GT4 RS, let me remind you to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and help us grow. You can also find us on social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. So this is the business end of the GT4 RS, and that's for more reasons than one. This is the most track-focused, ultimate Cayman, throw every word at it you possibly can. And honestly, the 718 is going out with a bang. We know this platform is eventually going to move to electric, so why not really go for it and do it? Uh, we've been saying for some time now that Porsche was never going to take all the components from the GT3 and really make the ultimate Cayman. This is their way of telling us we're wrong. Yes, they actually were going to do it all along. Speaking of GT3, this has the engine sourced directly from the 911 GT3, although of course because it's a Cayman, it's in mid-engine form. It's a 4-liter flat 6, making 493 horsepower. It's going to get you to 60 in 3.2 seconds and ultimately a top speed of 196 miles per hour. That is, if you can get through all seven gears of PDK, because the cars have notoriously long PDK gears. This is only going to be optioned with the PDK, so those of you that were hoping for a manual, not this time around. There are plenty of ways to tell this apart from other Caymans on the road, and that includes the standard GT4. The RS takes everything and basically multiplies it as much as it can. We're starting with a hood that is formed out of carbon fiber and front fenders that are formed out of carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Same lightweight trend continues with the rear glass on the car. And overall, there's just carbon elements on the mirrors, uh, some intakes back there. It brings down the weight quite a bit. This is weighing in at just over 3,200 pounds, which helps the car go around the Nürburgring in a Porsche official time of seven minutes and four seconds. Super quick. Other RS specific touches, these wheels. I've never seen this blue finish on a Porsche before. We saw the 911 GT2 RS. It's got sort of a copper gold finish on their wheels, but this blue is new, uh, obviously center locking and they're wrapped in uh, Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. Underpinnings are all tuned for the track as well with an adjustable suspension, RS-specific dampers, and stiffer springs and anti-roll bars. The car also has a lowered ride height and improved aerodynamics to create 25% more downforce than the standard GT4. We've definitely been in a 718 Cayman once or twice at this point in the product cycle. And they have done a bit to make the GT4 RS stand out from the rest of the bunch. I just hopped into this and immediately went oof because I felt that these are the most aggressive seats I've ever felt inside of a Cayman. Of course, they're ripped from the most aggressive 911 models. Um, we have blue, which is sort of matching the wheels on the outside. I'm liking it. Blue seat belts instead of traditional door handles. We have these uh, fabric pull straps instead. And this nice intricate blue stitching, which lines the center console. I love that although this is PDK, they use a giant traditional lever that makes it look like a manual transmission. The same is the case with the 911 GT3. They don't have the little, uh, you know, sort of selector that looks like a razor. So they went for something a little bit more gritty. I like that. Driving position, always important in a Porsche. We have a little piece of yellow at the top of the steering wheel. Of course, that goes with their most aggressive models. Overall, it feels very special. We have some Visac specific badging in this car. I'm liking it. For a Cayman especially, they've done a good job making this seem different from what we've already seen with the 718 lineup. The Cayman GT4 RS with its crazy rear wing, aero bits, lightweight, everything, will be on sale next year with a starting price of $143,000, including destination. Of course, that's if you can get an allocation. That said, we're super excited to see these things on the road and give the 718 the send off that it deserves. Thanks for watching.